Now we've got to find then the cosine of the acute angle between the two lines L1 and L2. So that's going to be this angle here, theta. Okay, cos theta is that what we need. And to do this, what we've got to remember is that the angle between two lines is the same as the angle between the two direction vectors. I'll just show you. You can take the direction vector, the red direction vector here, bring it back down to here. You can take the green direction vector, bring it across to there, and you can see that the angle is exactly the same as the angle between the two vectors there. So, how do we get that angle? Well, what you need to use is often referred to as the scalar or dot product. If you've got two vectors, A and B, with components A1, A2, A3, and B1, B2, B3, respectively, cos theta equals A dot B over the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B, where A dot B is A1 times B1 plus A2, B2 plus A3, B3. Okay, so it's that idea that we're going to use. So first of all, if you're answering this question, what I would suggest is that you define your vectors A and B, and they're going to be the two direction vectors, the 4 minus 1, 3, and the 3 minus 4, 1. So we'll just say let A okay, equal 4 minus 1, 3, so we'll have 4 minus 1, 3, and the vector B is the other direction vector, 3 minus 4, 1. So 3 minus 4, 1. And so what we've got is that cos theta is going to be equal to A dot B all divided by the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. Now what is A dot B? Let's just work it out over here. We can say where A dot B equals, and according to the formula here, you just sum the product of all the components. So it would be 4 times 3. Let's just write it in the working. 4 times 3 plus then minus 1 times minus 4. Minus 1 times minus 4 plus 3 times the 1. 3 times the 1. What have we got? Well, we've got 12 plus 4 plus 3 and that comes to 19. We also need the magnitude of A and the magnitude of B. So let's just work out the magnitude of the vectors. You should remember that the magnitude of a vector is the square root of the sum of the squares of the component. So for A it's going to be 4 squared plus 1 squared. You don't need the minus 1 in, just the 1 will do. 1 squared plus the 3 squared. Work that out and you get essentially the square root of 26. We also need the magnitude of B. So if we just write that one in, that 2 is going to be the square root then of 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 1 squared. 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 1 squared. Work that out and you've got the same answer as you got up here, root 26. Okay, so when it comes to cos theta then, all we need to do is just substitute our values in. We've got a dot b then as being 19 and then that's divided by the square root of 26 times the square root of 26. Well, root 26 times root 26 is just going to be 26. So, there you go. You've got the cosine of the angle, and it's going to be acute purely because we know that this is a positive value. Okay? If it had come out as negative, you need to strip off the negative sign to give you the acute angle. Okay? So just to warn you on that. But it's come out positive, so that means that theta would be an acute angle. Okay?